Hello students, you are welcome to the video lecture series of database management system. In this video lecture, we will learn about conditional statement in PL SQL. We will learn about if statement, case statement, go to and null statement. So here we go to start our topic. What are conditional statement? These are decision making structures required that the programmer specify one or more condition to be evaluated or tested by the program along with a statement or a statements to be executed. If the condition is determined to be true the, and optionally other statement to be executed if the condition is determined to be false. In short, if uh, I'll tell you, so decision making structures so they have like right ki agar aapki a condition true hai to kuch particular set of statement execute ho and condition false hai to another set of statement execute ho so us case mein hum use karte hain conditional statement ka these are decision making statement so uh, we as a, in most of other programming language we have already studied about these structures these decision making sentences or we can say uh, decision making structures so here uh, the condition here I, in the diagram, it is shown that if the condition is found to be true, so the condition will be true or false, only two, two cases will be there. So if the condition is true, then a certain condition of code will be executed. And the, if condition is false, then it, it these codes will not be executed, right? Some other codes will be executed. So this is the structure, this is the uh, flow chart, how you can describe in the in the in this way you can describe the conditional statement so moving ahead uh, i'll tell you what are the conditional statement so the first statement is if then right if then a structure if a statement the if statement associates a condition with a sequence of statement enclosed by the keyword then and and if right whenever you use if statement you will use and if statement and then if the condition is true, the statements get executed, right? Whenever the condition is true, in case which you statement diya hai, execute hoga. And if condition is false or null, then if statement does nothing. So your if statement is not doing anything, right? I hope that is clear. Now, if then else statement. If a statement adds the keyword else followed by an, an alternative sequence of statements, right? So if condition is false or null, then only the alternative sequence of statement gets executed right and you have two options if condition is true then first set will be first set of statement will be executed and if the condition is false then the next one that is alternative sequence of statement will be executed it ensures that either of the sequence of statement is executed ye if then else statement ensure karta hai ki either of yani ki dono mein se koi na koi ek statement aapka execute hona chahiye Third one is if then else if it allows you to choose between several alternatives. When you have several alternatives, then you use that. Fourth one is case statement. Like the if statement, the case statement select one of statements to execute. Whenever you have more than one statement and you have to select among only one of them. So you will use the case statement. However, to select the sequence, the case statement uses a selector rather than multiple Boolean expression. A selector is an expression whose value is used to select one of the several alternatives. Right. Then if we talk about searched case statement, the searched case statement has no selector. Is me kya hoga selector nahi hoga. And it's when clause contains search conditions that yield Boolean values. Next is nested if then else, right? Nested if ka matlab hai, if you can use if then ke andar ek other if then, right? Those case mein hum bolte hai nested if then else. So you can use if then or if then else statement inside another if then or if then else statement. So in that case, you will call it nested if then else statement. So now we will discuss these in details. So the first is if then statement. It is the simplest form of if control statement frequently used in decision making and changing the control flow of the program execution. The if statement associates a condition with a sequence of statements enclosed by the keyword then and end if. If the condition is true, 
the statement get executed and if the condition is false or null then if the statement is nothing so syntax kya hoga students iska if condition then s right aur uske baad aap ek put karte hain and if right where condition is a boolean or relational condition ye jo condition keyword hai yahan par aap kuch particular condition dete hain and s is a simple or compound statement s aapka statement hoga right so following is a example of if then statement if a less than 20 then the statement is c equal to c plus 1 if a ki value aapki 20 se less than hogi to us case mein c equal to c plus 1 hoga and if this condition will be false then it will do nothing and the last mein aap likhte hain and if if the boolean expression condition values evaluates to true then the block of code inside the if statement will be executed if the boolean expression evaluates to the false the first set of code after the end if of statement will be executed so i hope that is clear so let's take a small example that will help you understand the concept of this if then so uh, in this program uh, i have already told in my previous lecture we, we have talked about the pl sql so there are three sections Uh, first starts with a keyword declare second starts with a keyword begin and end and the third is ex exception right so uh, first is declare declare mein aapne yahan par dekha ki aapne ek number a variable aur number type ka declare kiya hai iski value aapne assign ki hai 10 initialize value initialize karna aap apne previous lecture mein seekh chuke hain then uh, you have used begin you have started the, the execution statements wala section then a equal to 10 आपने इक्वल टू टेन यहाँ पर साइन किया नाउ चेक द बोलियन कंडीशन यूजिंग इफ स्टेटमेंट यू आर चेकिंग द कंडीशन यूजिंग इफ स्टेटमेंट सो यू आर यूजिंग इफ ए लेस देन ट्वेंटी देन देन आपका ये प्रिंट हो जाएगा दिस इज अ कमेंट इफ यू टॉक अबाउट दिस वन यू हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस्ड इट इन प्रीवियस लेक्चर की ये आपका एक कमेंट है सो इफ ए लेस देन ट्वेंटी होगा सो डी बी एम एस आउटपुट डॉट पुट लाइन ए इज लेस देन ट्वेंटी आपका ट्वेंटी से लेस देन प्रिंट कर देगा और यहाँ पर आपका एंड इफ हो जाएगा इफ दिस कंडीशन इज फॉल्स इट विल डू नथिंग इट विल प्रिंट ओनली सिंपली दिस लाइन डीपीएमएस आउटपुट डॉट पुट लाइन वैल्यू ऑफ ए इट विल प्रिंट द वैल्यू ऑफ ए वट एवर द वैल्यू ऑफ ए विल बी इट विल प्रिंट टेन सो हेयर इट विल प्रिंट टेन आई होप दट इज क्लियर लाइक राइट की इफ ए लेस एन ट्वेंटी देन आप इस तरह से इफ देन स्टेटमेंट का यूज करते हैं अभी मैं आपको इसे इसका प्रैक्टिकली यूज भी बताऊंगी उससे पहले हम इफ देन एल्स स्टेटमेंट देख लेते हैं सो इफ देन एल्स के हम बारे में हमने बात की इसका सिर्फ सिंटेक्स होता है सिंटेक्स फॉर इफ देन एल्स इज इफ कंडीशन देन एस वन एल्स एस टू हेयर वी आर स्पेसिफाइंग एन अल्टरनेटिव स्टेटमेंट राइट इफ दिस कंडीशन इज ट्रू then you, you will be directed to the s1 statement and if this condition is false then you will come to the s2 statement and you will use and if at last so uh, for example if color equal to red then aapka print ho jayega you have chosen a red car else aapka jo print ho jayega wo ho jayega please choose a color for your car so i hope that is clear to you if then else ka use now इसको भी हम एक एग्जांपल से देखते हैं लेट से डिक्लेयर आपने एक ए नंबर टाइप का डिक्लेयर किया इसकी वैल्यू 100 थी देन यू आर चेकिंग इफ ए लेस देन 20 देन आपका प्रिंट हो जाएगा dbms डॉट आउटपुट dbms अंडरस्कोर आउटपुट डॉट पुट लाइन ए इज लेस देन 20 ए इज लेस देन 20 प्रिंट होगा एल्स के केस में आपका प्रिंट हो जाएगा ए इज नॉट लेस देन ट्वेंटी सो हेयर जस्ट प्रीवियस एग्जाम्पल से कंपेयर करें सो इन प्रीवियस एग्जाम्पल आपने ये एल्स वाला पार्ट नहीं दिया था राइट आई होप दैट इज क्लियर आपने एल्स वाला पार्ट नहीं दिया था इट मींस आपने अल्टरनेटिव सीक्वेंस नहीं प्रोवाइड किया था हियर यू आर प्रोवाइडिंग द अल्टरनेटिव सीक्वेंस सो इट्स अ यूज ऑफ इफ देन एल्स नाउ वी विल टॉक अबाउट द केस स्टेटमेंट व्हेन देयर आर मल्टीपल स्टेटमेंट्स एंड यू हैव टू सिलेक्ट वन ऑफ देम ऑन अ सर्टेन कंडीशन सो इन दैट केस यू विल यूज द केस स्टेटमेंट Like the if statement, the case statement select one of the sequence of statement to execute. However, to select the sequence, the case statement uses a selector rather than multiple boolean expression. So the syntax is case selector. You will specify selector when value one, then s one statement. When value two is true, then s two statement will be executed. When value is three, then s three statement. So this is the syntax, and at last. 
similarly you can provide so many more options and else at last you will provide sn else sn right it is the default case this is the comment and it is the default case this is comment section so this is default case if none of the value matches then the statement sn will be printed or executed i hope that is clear so uh, let me show you an example of the case statement so uh, first of all we have declared then grade i have uh, declared a grade or is of character type and its value is a so now i have begin started begins action so case i am using case so i have specified case there are so many cases so case and selector is my grade selector is a grade क्योंकि ग्रेड के बेसिस पर हम सेलेक्ट कर रहे हैं सो केस वी हैव रिटन ग्रेड व्हेन ए देन dbms डॉट आउट dbms अंडरस्कोर आउटपुट डॉट पुट लाइन इक्वल टू एक्सीलेंट व्हेन बी इफ बी देन इट विल प्रिंट वेरी गुड इफ सी ग्रेड देन इट विल प्रिंट वेल डन एंड इफ डी ग्रेड देन इट विल प्रिंट यू पास्ड एंड इफ एफ ग्रेड देन dbms इज बाय दिस स्टेटमेंट वी विल प्रिंट बेटर ट्राई अगेन and else in as section i have specified no such grade so this is a default value right because if none of the value matches then it will print no such grades then uh, you have used and case so you will specify at last and case and you will write and so i hope the case is straight. so output of it will be what it will print excellent because the grade is a and it matches the first condition so it will print the excellent now the last one is nested if else whenever we use if then else or if else in a in a single if then else means aap if then ke andar koi next if then use karte hain to usko hum bolte hain nested if then so the syntax is if boolean expression 1 then If is if के अंदर एक और इफ हमने स्पेसिफाई कर दिया सो दिस इज नेस्टेड इफ इफ बुलियन एक्सप्रेशन टू दैन सिक्वेंस ऑफ स्टेटमेंट्स देन यू हैव विल स्पेसिफाई एंड इफ एल्स एल्स स्टेटमेंट आप यहां पर लिखेंगे एल्स में एंड यू विल स्पेसिफाई एंड इफ दिस इज द फर्स्ट एंड इफ राइट तो आपने दो बार इफ यूज किया है सो यू विल स्पेसिफाई टू टाइम्स एंड इफ राइट सो दिस इज द सिंटेक्स ऑफ नेस्टेड इफ नाउ लेट मी शो यू एग्जांपल ऑफ इफ देन if then else and case statement and nested if so here we are moving towards our practical section so now i am specifying now it's connected to oracle database now i am taking a small first example of if then statement so for starting i will have to set server output on and i am writing my first program of if then i will declare a variable of number type and its size is 2 let's say i'm taking its value as 10 now it's my begin section and in begin section i'm writing if a less than 20 then if a less than 20 then i want to print so i will use dbms underscore output dot put line what i will write a is less than 20 this is uh, just a small basic program to make you clear about the concept then only if then statement is there so i will use and if here and at last uh, if you want to print the value of a so you will use dbms output dot put line then value of a is
a in that in that way by using this way you can print the value of a and at last to end the program you will use and and after that you will use a slash so now we can see its output i will press enter so it's printing a is less than 20 right and value of a is 10 it is printing a is less than 20 value of a is 10 right so uh, if this is the use of if then statement now let me show you the if then else statement now the next is if then else statement ka ek sa program i am pasting here so we can see here clearly that uh, here i have declared a number that is that's value is 100 i have assigned initialize karti hai ek value and then begin may aap ye check karega boolean condition using if statement if a is less than 20 then it will print a is less than 20 so uh, let me show you the output output is if a is less than 20 agar aapka a 20 se less than hai but a is not less than 20 so it will go to the else statement and in else statement we will print that a is not less than 20 so we can see here output is a is not less than 20 and at last it is printing value of a so the value of a is 100 i hope that is clear to you this is the use of if then else statement now we will discuss the use of case statement so how we will write i'm telling you a small example i will declare then let's say i have declared a grade of character type and let's say i'm initializing its value to a now i will go to the begin section and then you will use case selector so case selector is grade now in that case you will specify when a then you will write dbms output dot put line excellent then b then put line you will use very good now let's say i'm specifying only three condition when grade is c then line let's say i'm writing well done now i will uh, give you uh, a default case default value so it will be printed in else part else dbms underscore output dot put line in default case i am specifying no such grade right in that case at last you will end case and you will use and and at last you will use slash to get the output so uh, we are seeing clearly here because we have specified the value of grade is a so it will go to the case first when a right because it will match this condition a so our grade value is a so when a it will print excellent so we are seeing that output is excellent in the similar way let me show you the example of nested if else so 
nested if else is if else ke andar aap agar koi aur if use kar rahe hain so it will be called nested if else so let me show you the example declared let's say i am taking a variable a it's of number type Hundred, right? And another variable that I'm writing is of number type, and let's say its value is two hundred. Then begin. Then if a equals hundred, then if in that case if ए आपने स्पेसिफाई किया यू विल यूज सर्टेन कंडीशन इफ बी इक्वल्स टू हंड्रेड देन इन इन बी केस दिस इज नेस्टेड इफ क्योंकि आप इफ के अंदर एक और इफ यूज कर रहे हैं सो यू विल प्रिंट डीपीएमएस आउटपुट डॉट पुट लाइन you will write value of a is less than 100 yeah you will print value of a is 100 and value of b is 200 and you will use and if you have jo aapka nested internal if hai uske liye aapne and if use kiya then you will use one more and if to end the first if now at last you are printing what dbms output dot put line exact value of a is a you will print exact value of b b is b and at last you will specify and and backslash so now it will give you result so uh, we as i have we have seen that a is 100 so it will go to the first condition if a is less than 100 it will found to be true so it will go to the next step it will also found to be true because b is 200 then it will print value of a is 100 and value of b is 200 so it is printing here and then dono if close ho rahe hain then aapka jo do line hai ye print kara rahi hai exact value of a exact value of b so exact value of a is 100 and exact value of b is 200 so this is your output of nested if so students is video lecture mein humne conditional controller statements ke bare mein padha if case and we have studied nested if so i hope you video lecture aapko clear hoga thank you so much students for watching this video